The cultural reemergence of this wave existence occurred when the bombardment stopped, when the auroras retreated, and when the earth settled again, and the echoes of the past of this way of life in these distant times are the clues to an almost unimaginable past, a past where we are certain that our assumptions are utterly incorrect regarding the emergence of our kind, our memories, our traditions. We can never underestimate how much our culture relates directly to what was witnessed in the sky. The things that are no longer present can only be invoked from our consciousness and the understanding of a time that tells the tale of an older time is the clues to understanding who we are and maybe these clues can be found in Egypt. Wait till you hear this. An astonishing discovery was realized by Egyptian archaeologists who participated in the discovery of a burial chamber outside of Alexandria, which contained 16 humans with at least one of them adorned with a stunning golden tongue. Apparently, an amulet made of gold foil and may have been made to help the dead speak in the afterlife, according to the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. The discovery was made at the Temple of Tapasiris Magna in western Alexandria, with other recovered artifacts showing a crown decorated with horns, a cobra at its forehead, and a gilded decoration depicting a necklace from which hangs the head of a falcon, the symbol of the god Horus. Archaeologists found other golden artifacts too, including a funeral mask with golden flakes arranged in the shape of a wreath, and some gilded decorations depicting Osiris, the ancient Egyptian god of the dead. The mummies found there were not particularly well preserved. They date to a period more than 2,000 years ago, when Egypt was ruled by the Greek Macedonians and later Romans. The temple itself, according to the ministry, appears to have been built during the reign of King Ptolemy IV, a Macedonian king who ruled in the third century before the birth of Christ. Queen Cleopatra, who reigned for about two decades before her death in 30 BC, was the last ruler of the Ptolemaic dynasty before the Romans took over, and coins depicting her face have also been found in the temple. According to the director of the Institute of Egyptian Art and Archaeology at the University of Memphis, a golden tongue would not have been uncommon in elite burials during the Ptolemaic and Roman periods. However, within an Egyptian funerary context, its reference is to spell 158 of the Book of the Dead, which ensures that the deceased has the ability to breathe and speak, as well as to eat and drink in the afterlife. It may be conflated with the Greek funerary practices of placing a coin on or in the mouth of the deceased as payment for the ferryman, Charon, who transported the deceased across the river Styx to the underworld. The team of archaeologists that found the 16 tombs at Tapasiris Magna was led by Kathleen Martinez, a lawyer-turned-amateur archaeologist from the Dominican Republic. The team has been working for years to find Cleopatra's tomb and had focused their efforts on Tapasiris Magna. But the burial site of the famous queen, who reigned from Alexandria and was said to have died there, has not turned up there yet. The stated goal of the Egyptian Dominican mission is to find the burial of Cleopatra at Tapasiris Magna. Many scholars believe, however, that the burial place of Cleopatra was within a royal burial complex, perhaps associated with the Palace District, now lost underwater in the Alexandria Harbor. Representatives of the Egyptian Tourism Ministry did not immediately respond to a request for more information about the 16 burial tombs at Tapasiris Magna, but one prominent Egyptian newspaper reported that two golden tongues were found there and would be studied at the Alexandria National Museum before being put on display in museums across Egypt. The statement from the ministry reads as follows. A new archaeological discovery in Alexandria. The Egyptian Dominican Mission of the University of Santo Domingo, headed by Dr. Kathleen Martinez, working at the Tabasiris Magna Temple in western Alexandria, succeeded in uncovering 16 burials in the Luke-style rock-cut tombs, burial openings, 
that were popular in the Greek and Roman eras. Inside these openings, a number of mummies in a poor state of preservation, which highlight the characteristics of mummification in the Greek and Roman eras, were found remnants of gilded cartonage in addition to amulets and gold foil in the form of a tongue that were placed in the mouth of the deceased in a special ritual to ensure his ability to speak in the world. A noteworthy discovery highlighting the loss in preservation techniques between the kingdoms of Egypt and the newer kingdoms under the Greeks, but what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.